What's up my dudes? Thank you for clicking on another one of my videos. I am the 123 Review and today's a special video because in my area of Mississauga, Ontario, Canada, this figure, holy, this Bret Hitman Heart Ultimate Edition figure is so freaking hard to come by. Um, some places they're shelf warmers, some places they can't even be seen. They're not even in the directory. Uh, I had to hunt for a month for I don't know it, it seems ridiculous but I, not ridiculous but I had to hunt for a long time for this it, uh, the other they had two left at the Toys R Us and it was one had like a weird like jizz stain on his hair and like the other thing I think they were repackaged not repackaged but some of the tape kind of looks weird uh, other one did not look right like I don't know why the hand is like and I'm still this is still like like this is not I don't know if it's resealed, resealed by a return purchaser, but like, it doesn't seem like it was, like, there's not that many perforation marks on it or whatever, but, again, uh, this was super rare to come by, I was going to buy it on eBay for like, 60 bucks, but I'm like, nah, and it was a Lucy, I'm like, bro, who sells a Lucy for 60 bucks, like, get out of here, you eBay, but, um, it's a really cool box, I'm very sad to open it. But I'm gonna try my best not to ruin the box because I am a freaking Neanderthal. Sometimes I just wanna go and just open that shit up. But this is a very special, this uh, a special figure. This took me a long time to find, so I'm gonna take some delicacy with it. Uh, but looking at the box itself, it's very uh, aesthetic, as they say, as the kids say, it's very aesthetic. Um, red, white. I know red, white is just a normal ultimate like colors for the boxes. Because he's Canadian, it's like a whole like new thing. Because red and white is the, the color of our flag, and I don't know. I thought that was a cool thing, but apparently it's with the other line. Uh, this is in a line of I believe four other figures: uh, Shawn Michaels, uh, John Cena, Becky Lynch. I think there's another one. I don't know, but this is a line of whatever. This is the Ultimate Series is new uh, because the um, representative at Mattel told me that they're like they were tired of making elites. They wanted to make something even more grand even more you know something to get you more h-a-r-d like if an elite was a, a good video a good x video freaking an ultimate is a blue chew this will get you h-a-r-d for sure uh i don't know where i went i don't know what the this tangent went on but continuing uh here it has the window packaging uh wwe ultimate edition let's uh Focus on that Ultimate Edition. Brett the Hitman Heart, eight and up. So I cannot open this because I am seven years old. I'm eleven, so shut the fuck up. Hitman, whatever, it's fine. So on one side, I like this little picture on the back. Here has one uh, displayed as the figure itself, and then here is a uh, photoshopped uh, synthetic style edited photo. Look, it's an actual photo, but it's been glossied up and made nicer and like more like artful but uh there's bat bit you can pet it you can pap it i don't know what these mean but is that the illuminati symbol i don't know but w.com oh it's the fabricado na intro and in china mattel mississauga i know oh, some arabic writing on there huh interesting uh so <laughs> so now we're gonna Open this bad boy up and uh, get him out of the box. Wee, wee, wee. No, I'm joking. That's a knife. Life's, life's, life's very strange. You know, sometimes you want a spoon, all you have is forks. But sometimes you want a fork, and all you have are spoons. So, like, what kind of logic does that make, you know? Jesus Christ. Oh. I don't want to break anything. I don't wanna, this is very r rare. Okay, oh my god, there's so much tape, what the hell? Because apparently with these boxes, they're very resealable. In the sense, oh my god, there's more tape? Jeez, it. Okay, I got <sighs> Okay, uh, like these boxes are very resealable. So even if you take it out of the end, there's more tape as well. Uh, so if even if you like open up the box take out the figure you can always just put it back on and Reseal them. So I think is that all? Is that all? Okay, I think that's all. Oh, shoot. All right. 
Oh my god, I almost hit my freaking light. But yeah, here it is. I think it just pops out. Oh, oh shoot. The hand popped out. Uh. Hey. Is there more tape? Oh my god. Okay, I'll come back when I have everything untaped and out of the box. In the middle of unboxing this, I just noticed that these are these, uh... I don't know what these are. These aren't twisties or anything. Like, it doesn't... I think I just cut them open, but... That's how you know that. That's, that's high quality stuff, because they have twisties. And if they don't have twisties, then I don't know. You get, step your game up. If you don't have twisties on your product, then is it really a serious product then? I don't know. I'll continue to open the box. And here is Brett the Hitman Heart outside of the packaging. Uh, first, let's start out with the accessories it comes with. It comes with a, a plastic jacket. Um, I really like these new style of these kind of like figures where basically how it works is uh, if you have a Hot Toys or if you have some soft good figure or even if it's a rubber figure like with the rubber uh, jackets or shirts or whatever, it's very hard to pose to get uh, your figures to pose the way that you want it to because of the rubber. So how Mattel does it is they will make a vest. So this is actually a vest and it pops off like that and then it comes off through the back. I want to ruin it. Comes off the, uh... So yeah, see how it, just, it slips off and then you're left with a weird uh, black sleeve Bret Hart but so the first accessories that come with are these unjacketed hands or your naked arms however you describe this accessory a naked arm well, I don't know then it comes with two closed fists let me comes with So the two closed fists, and it also comes with two uh, crotch chop, like eh, crotch chop hands. So yeah, see, it is a comes with two sets of heads or three technically. This little grin, uh, not grin, but a uh, smirk. And then this is a grin. He's like, hey, he's a nice Bret Hart, and then. Also comes with the removable glasses, which are very uh, easy to lose. So, and then he's just screaming, "Hey, I'm, I'm Bret Hart. I'm the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be. I will not drop the belt to Sean." Okay, I'm done. But uh, <laughs> next, we will go into more depth of the actual. Act See, okay, now I'm tweaking out here. But look at this head. Look. Um, so what I was talking about the cum stain on the other figure. Look at this. What is this schmutz on the hair? I I've, I've been giving it a fig bath. This is fresh out of the box. And like, look at the schmutz. I'm gonna have to give this a fig bath. And it's a brand new figure. Shake my head. Shake my damn head. Uh, also, another thing. I I've never gotten an ultimate. This is my first ever ultimate. So I was kind of scared on taking out the the arms taking out the hands because they are replaceable but it's like I don't want to ruin it so I was very surprised to see that you can just go take it and very softly and then there you go boom a paraplegic Bret Hart and I'm still the best there is okay now I'm gonna set it up and go further into the articulation all right now let's take a look at the articulation of this figure what I noticed is that the pegs are very tight, so be careful when you're putting in the heads and the separate hands and the separate arms because I heard a snap somewhere and I'm kind of scared to discover what that snap was, but that's whatever. But uh, to get started, there is a rotation in the head, very slight rotation because I don't know, didn't feel like I put it in properly. You can say yes, you can say no, that's all you need to know. Um, there is a peg here it can rotate it can also go in and out as well as a bicep articulation which you can swivel around 
as well as a now I don't know if it can show here but it is a doubly doubly double art double articulated here I think it's easier to show on the jacket but it's a double articulated joint which means there's articulation both in the uh, tricep I don't know muscles but there's both an articulation here and here so you can get as maximum um, you can do an elbow drop and it looks cool I don't know but yeah double jointed elbow knees knees elbows <sighs> wow, what a mess. Okay, and continu <laughs> continuing on, there is a abdomen rotation, an ab crunch, I think this believe. It's an ab crunch. I don't like this. Uh, some people might like this, but it, it takes me out of the, like, aesthetically speaking, like, you wouldn't really need an ab crunch. It doesn't really add much to it, and it just makes it look very figurey, very toy-like because of the... Like, look at that line. It looks kind of weird. But besides that, it's an amazing figure. It's a great figure. Um, there's also a hip swivel. You can go 360. Then again, there is very tight. Uh, I don't think you can go all the way. And then there's also the thigh swivel. You can rotate it. Um, and then there's, of course, there is knee articulations. I don't believe there is... Double jointed knees too. I don't know. But uh, my favorite aspect was again there is the boot, the calf articulation, so you can move that anywhere you want to. You can't because they removed the articulation from the ankle. There used to be an ankle articulation where you can move the boots around, but that is long gone. Uh, you can move the foot uh, up and down. Actually, you can't. You can, I'm, it's very stiff, I don't want to break it, but this is the main event, this toe, <laughs> this is the most useless articulation I have ever seen in my life, like, sorry Mattel, but like, why? Oh look, here's a $40 action figure, but hey, you can move the toes, you can move his little tootsies, like, Huh. Um, you know, this is very strange because the articulation, I don't know where to go from there, but like, what the hell? Either way, it looks nice. So that is the articulation. I'm going to compare it to other figures in the line. Now, here is Bret Hart standing next to Kurt Angle uh, within the similar uh, era lines. Not line, but this is a basic Mattel Kurt Angle. And then we have... Uh, Screw job attire. Shawn Michaels. I was very, oh, I was very uh, excited to discover that this was a screw job. This is the Survivor Series '97 attire. Even comes with the heartbreaks and the heartbreak kid and the the silver things on the on the boots. But here it is, and uh, here's compared to Kate Bane. Bane is very short. He envies. And he's Bret Hart because of his, his six footness. I'm Midget Bane. Oh, oh. But see, I was able to do that. Could Bret Hart do that? No. Because I'm Midget Bane. Bret Hart is my bigger brother. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Okay, uh, so that was the comparison. And um, I'm going to conclude this video by saying that this is an amazing figure. Uh, this is definitely a must buy uh, being a Canadian collecting Canadian wrestlers. This is the uh, Mecca the Gandhi, you know the uh, the world championship of wrestling Cana Canadian wrestling figures So if I have to give it considering that it comes with a pair of dope sunglasses two arms comes with the leather jacket and two shepherd edge and four arms and hands I'm gonna give this a 9 out of 10 boom 9 so that was my review I'm gonna give this a um a fig bath because there's cum in his hair so thank you for watching another 1-2-3 review and um Stay tuned because I bought a whole lot of figures 
and I'm going to be reviewing a whole lot of figures, so stay tuned. Peace, guys. I'll see you later.